Welcome to Career TV, proudly brought to you by the South African Civil Aviation Authority. I'm Zandi Lenzela and I'm your host. Today we've got an exciting episode for you where we've got two handsome gentlemen in the studio who will be sharing more insight of, on what general aviation entails in Southern Africa. So while we're on the South African Civil Aviation Authority, their mandate is to regulate civil aviation in South Africa. They are also responsible for regulating general aviation and they have two sectors within the organization that look at organizations and the operations, the flight operations of general aviation. They are responsible for oversight, auditing, as well as the approval of the various organizations that operate within the sector. Gentlemen, welcome to Career TV. Thank you. Thank you very much for having Thank us. You. So in studio, we've got Melusum Nebi and Huiti Diali. So gentlemen, Briefly tell us about who you are, what you do, and that type of thing. Khoiti, take the floor. I'll get started. Uh, my name is Khoiti Diale. Uh, I'm a qualified pilot and uh, an aviation entrepreneur. And I'm a very, very big uh, general aviation enthusiast, meaning that uh, I take part in events, but I also I contribute to the community by heading up uh, aviation development, transformation, and awareness projects. Mm -hmm. Melusi? Oh, my name is Melusi Mnebi. I'm originally from Devon. I'm based in Johannesburg. I'm a qualified commercial pilot um, with a frozen uh, airline transport pilot license. Mm -hmm. I'm also a drone pilot. I'm a grade two flight instructor mm -hmm. uh, with roughly 2,000 hours of flying. Thank you for having me on your show. Well, lovely to have you here, gentlemen. I'm sure we've got a lot to learn. I'm also quite keen on learning about general aviation. So while we're on the topic, what is general aviation? So general aviation is basically an aircraft operation other than air trans commercial air transport operation mm -hmm. and air ambulance as well as any aerial work. Uh, it's divided into three sections, which is the training part of it, the recreational, recreational part of it, as well as uh, private aircraft use. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow, I love that you mentioned that because myself included, there's a general perception that general aviation actually has a lot to do with the recreation aspect, the fun element of it. So I'd like us to just delve a bit further yeah. uh, into the sectors that you just mentioned within general aviation. Can we basically just elaborate on the flight training aspect and the instruction as well, please? I think, you know, uh, because general aviation is one of the most uh, diverse sectors of our industry, mm. flight training plays an integral part in the assimilation or sort of getting people into the industry. Yeah. So, you know, usually we, we usually know about the flight schools that teach you to become obviously a commercial pilot and so forth. Yes. But the flight training goes a little bit deeper where you get introduced to the flying concepts and the basic principles. Mm -hmm. I think Melusi as a flight instructor can just shed more insights on that as you've had sort of first-hand experience. Yeah. Uh, so, to talk, about, as, uh, to talk about flight instructor, first there are different uh, kind of flight instructors. Yes. There is helicopter flight instructor, fixed wing flight instructor, drone uh, flight instructor. Mm -hmm. So how one become a flight instructor, uh, zooming in specifically on fixed wing, uh, what I do, mm -hmm. you have to go through or get all the pilot licenses from private pilot license, commercial pilot license, mm -hmm. and then you can train for an instructor's rating. Okay. And then after getting that instructor's rating, you start off as a grade three flight instructor, mm -hmm. meaning you can train a pilot uh, from student pilot license to private pilot license. Mm -hmm. And then after about 200 hours of instruction, you can now do an up, get an upgrade, become a grade two flight instructor. Meaning now, you can train someone from to, uh, towards private pilot license, also commercial pilot license, and do some test on private pilot license. Yeah. And then another, the reason why maybe one would want to become a flight instructor, <laughs> sorry to take too much of the no, time. No, not at all. So after getting a commercial pilot license, there are many paths one can follow. One can go fly for charter companies, mm -hmm. one can go fly for contract companies, one can go fly for airlines. Okay. Then some choose to become flight instructor yes. due to passion maybe of instruction or teaching. And also what instructors, uh, are the, the opportunities that come with being a flight instructor is as a flight instructor from general aviation, becoming a grade two flight instructor eventually, mm -hmm. when you move on to charters, uh, contract flying, as well as uh, commercial, 
operations. They also need instructors there. Guess who gives training to new pilots in the airline uh, uh, for pilot license renewals, etc. Mm. And last but not least, if one day one aspires to be a designated flight examiner, yes. which is the only examiner that can uh, test someone for their commercial pilot yes. license, as well as airline transport pilot license, mm. you have to be a grade two flight instructor. So I just wanted uh, to, to elaborate on that thing. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Gosh, I didn't realize it goes that far. Guys, I hope you're learning as much as I am. Um, you guys also mentioned um, private operations within, within general aviation. Can you please elaborate on the private operations? Yeah, private operations, especially within general aviation, play an integral part in helping local businesses and industry grow mm -hmm. and for the interconnectivity of those businesses. Yes. So what private operation means, it means that as a general owner, you own your little aircraft uh, or you own a fleet of aircraft that you use for particular reasons, yes. whether it could be for you know the nice Saturday flying with your friends and family, yes. or it could be for the Monday to Friday work where you live in a certain town and you work in a certain town, yes. and it helps you by moving around. Mm -hmm. Now, private operation also extends further than that, where you have businesses that have private aircraft that fall under general aviation, yes. where they utilize and they use that aircraft to get around. You know, sometimes the staff doesn't want to take a bus or go in a minibus taxi, they'd rather fly somewhere that's quite far. And then nice life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they can sort of do their meetings on board. Yes. So private operation in general uh, aviation plays an integral part in helping private individuals not only carry out their work, but to also open up new doors to sort of their personal and social life. You can imagine, you know, what if I want to see you in another city, Zandi? I'd love to fly and come and wow. see you for a little bit, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and take me for breakfast while you're at it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And, I mean, when it goes deeper than that, you start to realize that for the interconnectivity of towns and cities, mm -hmm. it plays an integral role. Mm -hmm. You can imagine for outlying rural towns and cities, not having the, the, the privilege of having airline route networks. Mm. The private aviation sector, or in fact the general aviation sector, play a pivotal role in bringing new products into the town or moving people around. Yeah. You'll notice that in some areas there are air ambulances that fly around. Yeah. In some areas you find that some companies uh, or sort of some service providers use aircraft to bring goods or services to a certain or particular area. Wow, definitely. That, it's quite dynamic. I didn't even realize that general aviation covers all of that. Absolutely. Now that we've heard quite a bit about flight training and instruction, let's take a look at what that looks like. Gentlemen, I'd also like us to talk about the fun element of general aviation, the skydiving, the aerobatics, and that type of thing. Would you gentlemen kindly elaborate on what that entails? I mean, you, that's the best part of general aviation. Um, and I always say for, for the young people out there, if you want to enjoy uh, the, the aviation sector, that's where you need to get it, to find that passion and to grow that passion. Mm -hmm. Now, the recreational side of aviation gives many opportunities to different sectors. You know, traditionally we think that aviation is the fixed wing or the helicopter aircraft, but sometimes, you know, if you look up in the sky, you can see that odd little balloon or the parachuting, or you can see that small little plane doing tricks in the sky. Mm -hmm. Now, in general aviation, there are magnitudes of sort of subsectors where you have sort of the parachuting mm -hmm. and you have the hot air ballooning mm -hmm. and you have the sports aerobatic and you have the powered flying. Mm -hmm. um, without diving too deep into it, um, mm -hmm. amongst those sectors, tourism, sports and skills management plays an integral role. Mm -hmm. For example, you'll know that in some tourism uh, capitals in our country, you have hot air ballooning businesses that are playing a very integral part in general aviation mm -hmm. where as a small operator, they're able to take people up in hot air balloons. Mm -hmm. You've also seen, uh, we, we've had some famous South Africans who've competed uh, on the international stage with sports aerobatics, mm -hmm. where they do nice uh, 
tricks and skills on a on an aircraft. Mm -hmm. We've also seen young people and you know developing pilots get into powered flying, mm -hmm. where they will do the navigation rallies to hone up their skills, and they effectively then start competing. Mm -hmm. So there's a magnitude of areas that one could get in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't mean you have to be at the control yes. of an engine-powered aircraft, mm -hmm. as we've seen with some uh, paragliders uh, yes. yeah, mm -hmm. in the industry. Wow, it all sounds so exciting. Please sign me up for one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to give it a try. Like, now you make me feel like I'm some stiff pilot or something like that. There's so much happening out there. Yeah. Anyway, while we're on that, guys, um, let's give you a, a sneak preview of what that entails. Take a look at this. So let me come back to you, gentlemen. So if someone is out there in the public um, and they're interested in getting involved in general, general aviation, how would one go about that, the activities that are within the space? I always encourage uh, people to, to be on the lookout, especially for local events around the area, around the town or city. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as, as major general aviation players and as an co aviation community, what we try and spread is a national footprint of sharing our passion and sort of the industry with many others out there. Yes. You know, we've seen the CAA in the past going to communities for their aviation development and yes. awareness activities. Mm -hmm. It's always good uh, to accompany the CAA to also take part in uh, air shows in the local area. Yes. The best example would be visiting your local airfield mm -hmm. uh, to find out about events that are happening, some exhibitions or even making some new friends at the local flying club. Yes. Um, notably, you'll see that uh, in the turn post-pandemic, we're seeing a return of these amazing uh, yes. air events, yes. such as you know the, the Newcastle Air Show. We're yes. seeing the ICANN event, which is a, the International Aviation um, demonstration. Yes. We're seeing a lot of you know the South African Air Force participating in community development events. So I think that would be sort of the, the first part uh, to get involved. You know, we are always trying to spread our love and our passion and we're always trying to spread the magic of general aviation. Yes. So it's really as simple as going to your local airport mm -hmm. and making some new friends and finding out some basic information about how you can be involved. Yes, and it's interesting the fact that all these exciting activities actually take place at your, your airfields, which yeah. we're referring to small airports, guys. Um, so can you just zoom in on the importance of the conservation of these airfields, these small airports, why yeah. the communities need to take care of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Zandi, before I get to that, I'd like to backtrack a bit sure. uh, on uh, aircraft private use, just to add on what Hoizi had said. Because right. maybe my, some people might not be aware that um, one can actually just go for a private pilot license training mm -hmm. and then buy their own plane. Instead of buying that half a million worth car, mm -hmm. can buy a plane, fly around, around provinces and around the city. And also with the recreational flying, um, what I really, really appreciate is the job creation, the role the general aviation in part of uh, recreational flying it plays, mm -hmm. the jobs that are created, people that are manufacturing uh, these micro lights, uh, mm -hmm. these air balloons, people that are working in these operations. So not everyone has to be a pilot yes. or a, mechani a mechanic or whatever, mm -hmm. but then there are many supporting roles in these uh, uh, operations. Mm -hmm. Then coming to your question, pertaining airfields, which is the small airports yes. that we have in our, in our local cities. Mm -hmm. It's very important, I would encourage everyone to maybe try and reframe uh, from vandalizing and also trying to take care of them because these uh, airfields can be used by air ambulances, first of all, mm -hmm. if there are issues, because there are places where you find that there's a strike or something, mm -hmm. then someone is injured, an ambulance can land on an aerodrome and then pick up a, 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 a patient. Yes. And also, um, stakeholders, business around the airfields can come together mm -hmm. and conserve, make sure they maintain, they sustain the airfields, because they can use them. Instead of driving, we can always fly, you can mm -hmm. always buy planes, fly to one from one meeting to another. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important to 
for everyone to play a role in conserving these airfields. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know that saying that says, if you want to see the world, all you need is just a mile of runway. Yes. It's very important, I think, for young people and community members, wherever we are, mm -hmm. to, to prioritize the security and the preservation of airfields, mm -hmm. as it allows us as communities to come together and to connect with each other. Yes. You know, we think and we hope that in the future, as, uh, as a nation, we're able to see our families in, you know, the outskirts or, well, within the city, but we know that interconnectivity relies on us being able to get there. And sometimes that small airport mm. helps that airplane take off and take you to other places. Yes. And we believe that soon we will see sort of the growth of general aviation in our country mm. and where people start taking part. And I think the basic start at us being involved with our local infrastructure yes. and protecting that local infrastructure. Yes, wonderful. And I love how much you guys have shared on, on that subject as well as you were also mentioning the air ambulance. Um, guys, an air ambulance is literally an ambulance, but that it comes in the form of an airplane. So imagine having a situation now where you're injured and you need to be flown somewhere to get help, but as a community, you've vandalized the, the airport. So where is this aircraft supposed to land in order for you to get the assistance that you need? So I hope that just opened up my mind to the world of possibilities and how much actually we require and need general aviation in society as well, yes. besides the recreational stuff. So thank you so much, gentlemen, for sharing this pool of wisdom. I myself did not know gener general aviation included so much or encompassed so much yeah. within the space. So thank you so much, gentlemen. And um, ladies and gents at home, if you have any questions for us, comments, whatever, you want to get in touch with us, reach out and um, post whatever you want to say to us in the comments section like subscribe so that you are able to keep in touch and know whatever else that we're posting that is industry related and stay and stay up to date and on that note guys i hope you've been as as intrigued and and as your mind has been opened up to the world of possibilities that exists within general, general aviation because i myself am completely blown away so until next time stay tuned and take care of yourself goodbye